earlier. But, you know, we can, we can, it's like the frog in the kettle. You know, we can go for years and not realize that the thing is boiling to death, you know, and, and then <laughs> finally realize, oh my gosh, my soul is kind of dead. It's neutral. It's numb. Uh, or worse, it's in a bad case scenario and it's, and it's really walked away from the very love of our souls that um, God continues to invite us into. So you don't want to be in a place of neglect, particularly of, of the soul. And there, there's so many reasons why this happens. You know, it's, it's basic soul neglect. I think that's the primary reason why. But um, it can be discouragement, disillusionment, sadness, depression. Um, you know, leaders, leaders, just like everybody else, leaders have a, a bucket of tears right next to them each time they get up every day. And, you know, we've got sorrow and sadness and things that we're carrying. And we often don't want to reveal that bucket of tears, but it's there. And we try to encourage people to just be honest, be honest about how are you really doing? How is it with your soul today? That's probably our favorite question. And that goes back historically to uh, John Wesley, who in his ministry to others, he would always, often start with, so how is it with your soul today? Mm. We'd imagine if we started our conversations like that rather than, hey, how about those Red Sox or, you know, the Red <laughs> lousy, <laughs> lousy example because I'm, but I'm from Boston. So, you know, we talk about the Celtics or the, the Red yeah. Sox yeah. or the Patriots or whatever it is our favorite. We, we'd rather talk about that, you know, or politics or business adventures or whatever. Uh, I'd mm. love to see leaders, particularly Christian leaders that are functioning side by side, either as staff or board, to really talk about the soul and let's be honest about it. Be yeah. forthright. Yeah, that's so good. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more finance, governance, and fundraising news and insights for your church or ministry.